to help me figure out does it look okay or does it not. What's up everybody? Uh, recently I found myself in the market for a Canon RP with a 16 millimeter f2.8 lens. Looking for a new camera for when I film these walk and talk segments around the neighborhood. Um, one thing that I had trouble finding in all the videos that I've searched on YouTube is how does this camera and this lens actually work together in terms of image stabilization? And that's the thing, after searching through so many videos, I never really found one that was completely satisfactory. And so let's just take a little bit of time here today. We'll test all three options. We'll use no stabilization, standard stabilization, and enhanced stabilization. And we'll see how all three of these actually fare with this combination. Okay, so here is our first test. This is no stabilization whatsoever. How does this look? I'm guessing just looking at the screen, that looks super shaky. And I would say overall, this footage kind of seems unusable. But anyway, here's our baseline test of using no stabilization. Okay, here is our second test of using standard stabilization. I've noticed that for about 99% of the stuff that I'm filming, like if it's just B-roll, handheld, stuff like that, this is actually good enough. Like I haven't really needed enhanced when I'm filming B-roll, but I'm not so sure how this is gonna look for these walk and talk segments. How are the corners looking? How is it handling this? Cause I'm not trying to be like, I'm not trying to be like soft with my footsteps. I'm just walking at like a normal pace. How is it handling that? Okay, here's our third option now of enhanced stabilization. Significant amount of crop I can see just looking at the image itself, but is there the warpiness in the corners? Because see, when I first got the RP in the mail, I actually filmed a video, just like a private video, with the Canon EF 24 millimeter F2.8, that old lens, like it's a film lens. There was no warpy stuff in those corners. It actually handled that really well. Curious to see how this handles it. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully this is helpful to someone out there. I know that I desperately needed to see something like this when I was trying to make the decision whether or not to buy this lens to go along with this camera. Um, from what I've seen, just seeing it on the camera, I think this camera probably actually has pretty amazing stabilization, even though it's only electronic stabilization and not actual IBIS. So for those of you with more modern Canon cameras, I don't know how your IBIS is going to react with this lens, but with a camera like this that just has electronic stabilization, it seems to actually work really well. You know, just glancing at the screen, I don't see any warpy stuff in the corners, and that's crazy. I mean, I was so hesitant to buy this lens because I thought that's all there was going to be was just warpy nonsense in the corners. But yeah, this is just a super quick video to test the image stabilization with this lens. Um, I'll cover everything else in the full RP review, and I'm also going to have like a review of this 16 millimeter lens as well. Uh, anyway, I think that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.